Stephen, what a crazy goal to lose out to. Yeah, uh, that's the disappointing thing, I think, for, for all Celtic's quality and the threat they carry. that They, they scored the winner on the goal that they did, it's disappointing. Johnny trying to clear it and it went in off Callum McGregor um, and up to that point you, you must have been pretty pleased at where you were in the game yeah because I think they, it's the second half they had a lot of threat but there was nothing really until they scored that there was goals they should have been scoring I think uh, and it comes from a great save from Joe and Johnny's trying to clear it it hits at one of the players and goes in so I think if you can stop players and teams like that having opportunities then you've got, an op- you've got a chance to keep yourself in the game and win at the other end which we carried a threat I felt like on the break we kept pace high up the pitch as best as we could had to tweak a little bit first half pulling Christian deeper to try and get a bit more pressure as well instead of just sitting taking it and I think it worked uh, but then second half obviously we were camped in a little bit more 1-1 one, one at half time um, and Joe Hart had that great save from Marley Watkins as well uh, the disappointing thing about the second half probably was the lack of threat on goal yeah, we, we didn't really look like a, as that much of a threat second half. Uh, the, the corner kick towards the end, I don't know if it's a defender or Joe that, that saves it, but uh, it looked like it was going in, which would have been brilliant. But you're right, I think decision-making, like again, shooting when we should be crossing it and crossing it when maybe we should be getting a shot off, that sort of thing. But you, you get limited opportunities to do it here, and I think we'll get a lot more opportunities winning tonight if we do the, do the business right. What's the news of Scott Brown? Is that a hamstring? cramping up but I don't know if it's a hamstring injury as such but he, he was cramping up so he, he needed to come off but again Dylan the same got a knock on his calf first half had to come off so having to reshuffle when we wouldn't particularly want to uh, but it's it's been the theme of the season as well but hopefully we'll get some more back soon You don't want pats on the back you want points on the board because actually there were quite a lot of pluses I think in the in the performance today but you'd, you'd take the worst possible performance in three points wouldn't you? Yeah, we want to get points on the board, but I think there's there's a group of players that are angry in there that we didn't manage to get anything. They're angry the, the, where we are in the table and they want to make it better. And uh, I just said to them, the next three, four, five games are going to define what happens to us come the January break and come this, the, the next part of the season. So there's a group of players that are ready. And the next two are Pataudry doubleheader, Livingston Wednesday, St Mirren at the weekend, and, and you're obviously looking for six out of six if you can. Yeah, of course we are. Of course we are. Anytime we play at home, we're looking to win. We didn't do it last time against Motherwell, but with the, the effort the boys put in there today, the quality they played, the bravery to play at times, if we can do that against Livingston, then it's going to take brave players because when you're not getting the results you want, it's difficult to play. So I think you've, you've seen the players are capable of showing it, and I think they will. Good luck Wednesday. Thanks, Rob. Cheers.